Now it's time for Real Health Talks news and views with cancer nutritionist and neurodevelopment specialist, Craig Stelflu. In the category of lifestyle, the symptoms of fatty liver generally are not seen or felt, but are often found with the palpation of the body. Some early warning signs are a constant dull middle back ache, hepatitis, iron overload, diet issues, and obesity problems. Both alcoholic liver disease and non-alcohol related fatty liver disease affect the liver and health in substantial ways. Diet, excess iron in the body, heart disease, obesity, and other diseases can cause inflammation in the liver, leading to more serious issues down the road. In the case of alcoholic-related fatty liver, the more alcohol that is consumed, the more the chance of getting a fatty liver. In the category of food and nutrition, frankenmeats. Scientists have successfully managed to make lab-grown meat. I reported this over a year ago when one Dr. Mark Post invited reporters to see his methods for producing lab-grown meats. Of course, no one is happy with the taste or texture yet, so he's still working on it. So far, the first lab-grown burger tops in at the price tag of close to $345,000. Dr. Post believes that his synthetic meat will hit the supermarkets in the next 10 years. Meat grown without the God-breathed life in the animal or normal biological processes, what could go wrong with that? Of course, the madness doesn't stop there. Scientists are also using technology to grow food by cloning meat. Our bodies cannot survive without genetic diversity, and modern wheat gluten has already proven this with the epidemic of gluten sensitivities and intolerance. In the category of medical madness, aspirin is an anti-nutrient. Aspirin depletes the body of folate, iron, potassium, sodium, and vitamin C. Millions of people already take aspirin due to some doctor's bad advice and big pharma propaganda that says daily aspirin will help prevent heart attacks and strokes, even cancer. Researchers have found that heart attack survivors given over-the-counter aspirin and other NSAIDs were 45% more likely to have a second heart attack or die within one week, and by 90 days, the aspirin taker's risk increased to 55%. What do you think of your aspirin now? In the category of vitamins and supplements, just 500 milligrams of vitamin C a day can lower hypertension by about 5 points, according to the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Lead study author Dr. Peter R. Miller commented, Quote, our research suggests a modest blood pressure lowering effect with vitamin C supplementation, unquote. Another study shows that vitamin C helps fight off the common cold by literally halving the occurrence of colds in study participants. One gram of vitamin C per day also reduces the average duration of colds in adults by 8% and in children by 18%. But 98% or more of our vitamin C comes from China and is made with GMO corn. Find a non-corn, non-GMO source for your daily supplement. And finally, in the category of Real Health Talk News and Views Trivia, what you didn't hear in the news trivia. Three months following the 2011 Fukushima disaster, the number of newborns in Alaska, California, Hawaii, Oregon, and Washington born with congenital hypothyroidism surged by 28%. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining us. You have been listening to Real Health Talks News and Views, featured every weekday on El Shaddai Radio. Join us for Real Health Talks weekly broadcast every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Phoenix time. If I could reach the